guys, Janet here with Radiant Wanderings. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Today we are simply doing a walking tour of Kalispell, Montana, just downtown a few blocks. This is actually part of my moving guide for Montana, the state of Montana, Montana living. So if you're interested in moving here, this will give you a little bit of an idea of what the city of downtown Kalispell looks like. If you're not interested in moving here, that's okay. This will be a great idea of if you're visiting the area for Glacier National Park, you can see if you would like to stay in Kalispell. Um, it has some great things to offer. It's probably a little bit more affordable than staying in Whitefish. So thanks for joining me and let's get walking. This walking tour begins just south of 4th and Main Street and we will be heading north up Main Street before turning around and coming back south. As you can see, if you take a right here, you can see the Hockaday Museum of Art and the Conrad Mansion. Coming up here on the right is Wheat Montana Company. You can get fresh baked bread here. They have a bakery, sandwiches, soups. And just across the street is Sweet Peaks Ice Cream. They have delicious huckleberry ice cream. We also love the salted caramel here. And they have that rooftop deck where you can enjoy your ice cream in the summer. It's really nice. On the right is the Toggery. It's a wonderful clothing shop. They have locations in Kalispell and in Whitefish. And here on the right is Blue Samurai Sushi. They have one of my favorite rolls, the hot and juicy. Thai Palace, I have never eaten at, so if you've eaten there, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Sporting goods equipment. Big Sky Martial Arts is on the right. Lots of local kids enjoy taking Taekwondo, Karate here. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure Chuck Olson Real Estate Plenty of real estate agents in the city Coins and Carrots, I've never been in there Maybe I should stop in and check out a diamond salon Jaslyn, like I said, there are quite a few salons downtown The Refinery is a second-hand clothing shop Sage and Cedar is a really nice shop. They have some pajamas and soaps and lotions and all kinds of great things for body care. The Montana Scene, one of my favorites. I absolutely love their sweatshirts and hats. Mimi's I haven't been into, but looks like they have bridal dresses, maybe some prom gowns. drive a faster car lay my troubles to rest blow the smoke a lot of the side streets and um, First Ave on either side of Maine have plenty of shops and restaurants as well I'm not doing those on the walking tour today though I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else no one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Big Brothers and Big Sisters, a great organization. Backpacking gear, I think they might have some fly fishing stuff in there. Climbing equipment. Copy shop, printing shop, Montana Modern Fine Art. 
Flair is unfortunately going out of business. They announced that during the coronavirus shutdown, but they had unique gifts. Hop's Restaurant. And Brick's Bottle Shop, which I had mentioned in the Kalispell City Guide. Montana Coffee Traders is some of my favorite coffee in the area, and the bookshelf has used books. Great place to get your next read. All right, and we made it to First Street. So if you continue heading north, you'll find Moose's Saloon and the Kalispell Center Mall. But I'm not going to go that far today. Uh, directly catty corner from us is the Western Outdoor Wear Shop. Also downstairs is an antique store in there. And then just to the north of that is Norm's Soda Fountain, one of our favorite eateries downtown. And as we turn, you'll see the Kalispell Grand Hotel a great place to stay downtown. It has wonderful reviews. I unfortunately have never stayed here. <laughs> I haven't had a need to, but I've heard great things about it. And it's nice because it's within walking distance to all of these things. I will hopefully feature that more in a Kalispell, Montana each day shop play edition. Up here on the right is the Kalispell Bar. I've never been in there. It used to be Scotty Belly's and I've been in there when it was the Italian restaurant. I have not checked it out since they moved. Sassafras has a lot of fun and unique gifts. There are a couple florist shops downtown. And of course, Imagination Station Toys. They have a location in Whitefish as well. And maybe in Big Fork, I don't remember. <laughs> we'll have to check out that walking tour and see. did do this walking tour during the coronavirus. We may have been in phase one, but it is typically busier down here than what you're seeing currently. Skincare, salons, bare minerals. Public parking area, although I've never needed to use that. Typically we just parallel park along the street. I like the downtown street lamps. And like I said in my Kalispell City Guide, a lot of times in the summer they have beautiful flower baskets hanging from them. And then in the winter they are um, decorated with evergreens and some Christmas lights, which is really nice. Okay, here on the corner is Scotty Belly's Italian restaurant. I like going in here because the owners are true Italians and I can work on my Italian language a little bit when I'm inside. <laughs> music shop on the right. They give music lessons there as well. Bakery, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. If it's Cerise but they have some really good baked goods in there. Breakfast rolls. Oriental Rug Gallery, I can't say I've ever been in. And you'll see Museum City Hall and Library are to the left down that street. This shop, I loved, it used to be a yarn shop, Camas Creek Yarns, and I don't know if they moved, but it was a beautiful shop, so hopefully somebody else comes in. And here on the corner across the street is um, Kalispell Brewery. And they have a rooftop deck as well, which is a lot of fun in the summer. And we're back to where we started. Across the street you see Sweet Peaks and then Wheat Montana. And that is the end of our walking tour. 
and just a little drive through eastern downtown Kalispell. You'll see some beautiful historic homes here. When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember Lots of nice large trees throughout all of downtown. Heading back toward Main Street, that is the the Strand Theater you see on the left. That was an old theater in downtown Kalispell. It is now owned by Fresh Life Church, along with the Liberty Theater, which is catty corner across the street. That is the main Fresh Life Church building downtown. This is the old Montana building on the right. Split Rock Cafe is on the left. And straight ahead with the skywalk, there's Glacier Bank and then some of the city buildings. And if you take a ride at this light, you'll see Kalispell City Center Mall. Up here on the left is Sykes Diner and some apartment buildings. There's nothing out there to get you. When All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this walking and little driving tour of downtown Kalispell. Be sure to hit that notification bell. My next video is going to be the city moving guide for Whitefish, Montana, and then there will be a walking tour of downtown Whitefish, Montana as well following that. And then we'll move on to Columbia Falls and so on and so forth from there. If you have not already checked out my Moving to Montana intro, you might want to check that video out. I will post that at the end screen here. And other than that, check out some of my Montana living videos, Glacier National Park, some Montana Secrets of the Locals. That'll get you a little familiarized with the area. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys around.